<laughs> Shit. What's up, YouTube? Taco Drew here. I just got the call. My rock slider has finally come in, and we're off to pick them up. Let's get it. Four wheel parts, and I'm pretty excited. And I think Gus is pretty stoked too, if you ask me. So, let's go. So as you can see, they're shipped bare. There's no uh, power code option, but uh, that's okay because I'm gonna do the paint job myself. Um, I'm actually pretty stoked because when I read the description, I thought the legs were gonna come not attached. So I thought there was gonna be some welding to do, but these things are pretty solid to be honest. And for the price, like, I don't know, can't really complain about that. And then in the box here, with all your hardware for the installation. So next step is gonna be some paint. All right, so before we get started, I did do research for power coding options and like uh, get some quotes. And most places were trying to charge me about 200 bucks tax in per slider. And that's ridiculous, to be honest. So after some research, um, I mean, to each its own, everyone's got their own opinion about this, but I went with this. I'm going to go with this. This is the primer I'm going to use. Um, this is, I'm going to use bed liner. I mean, everyone's got opinions about this, rust, whatever. I'm going with this. I'm going to try it out. Um, to clean off the sliders because they come oiled, I'm going to use some acetone and some rags to clean it off. So, uh, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get her done. So as you can see here, I'm all set up to get started. I forgot to mention earlier, all this stuff here, I got at Home Depot for like $130, which is pretty sick. And I'm hoping I have enough paint. I'm pretty sure I do. And I suggest, uh, you know, wearing a paint mask because that primer stuff and all the paint's gonna stink. Some gloves, some glasses, oh, there they are. Safety first. All right, let's go. All right, just to mention something, while you're doing the cleanup, you really wanna take your time. Like it's the most important thing throughout the whole process. Like paint job, yeah, make it nice, but to clean these up properly beforehand is definitely important. So make sure you do a really good job and take your time. All right, so the primer is all done. And to be completely honest, uh, two cans, of this covered pretty much everything but i put the third can on just spread it everywhere evenly just to make it thicker so now i'm going to apply the uh, bed liner coating bed liner is all done i did use all four cans i didn't have to but i wanted to put it on thick i mean these things are going to probably take a beat in anyways and that's one of the reasons why i decided to do the paint myself because i can just touch it up myself, you know? And I'm pretty happy with the product, to be honest. So before I get to the install, I'm gonna let the paint cure for about a day, day and a half-ish, so it can like cure properly. And I'm probably not gonna film the install, just give you guys the final product, a look, and we'll give a little walk around once it's uh, installed. Um, I purchased these at four wheel parts. The instructions for the install are on the site. You can print them out like I did myself. And they're just give you baby steps on how to install them. And I think on this page here is the tools you're gonna need. Pretty straightforward. And uh, yeah. Punani Finder is there. Shout out to the big bro for helping me out right here. Legend. All right, so we got one side in over here. I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as I can. Now, it's pretty scary because you're drilling into your frame and we did the driver side first and you gotta watch out because there's brake lines on this side, but uh, luckily they just weren't in the way. Um, lining it up is uh, kind of annoying too. 
And on this second bracket here, we couldn't get any, uh, I don't know if you guys can see properly, any uh, bolts or screws in there because of the, the size of the frame. So we left those and I'm probably just gonna weld them. <laughs> and uh, other than that, I mean, they're pretty solid the way they are. So yeah, pretty stoked. All right, so that wraps it up for the install and everything, all the paint stuff. Um, like I mentioned before, some bolts I just couldn't get on because of the shape of the, the frame. And I'm not sure if it's because it ranges from 2005 to uh, 2015 models, mine's a 2014. But uh, with all the bolts we got in either way, like they're super solid and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's it. So uh, if you like the video, subscribe, smash that like button, share it, do what you gotta do, thanks.